Hello and welcome to Tax TV. It's Neil. Um, hope we're all doing well. Uh, coming up to the weekend for his game against Bournemouth. We're all in apprehension what's going to be happening as regards players, you know, are we going to be fit, are we not going to be fit, what kind of side we're going to be playing at. This is mainly about Tony Sibic. As you're probably all aware now, he's gone to Hearts for an undisclosed fee. And I will link with Hibernium uh, early on in winter. Well, apparently we turned down the bid, which begs my belief in that was Sibic ever fit enough to play when we were trying to cancel his, his, his game against Notts Forest? If it is, then we, we, we should have been med like we did do back EFL. Um, I just don't get it. Sibic and yeah, he won't. And no disrespect to Tony Sibic, he won't great as a players, but at least he tried. He, you know, he was trying his heart out. And you tell me compared to Jasper Nook, and comparison on making, it's not like a dig at players. But you tell me that Jasper Moon and Kitchen, what are inside at the minute, were any better than Sibic? For me, Moon should have gone out on loan. Kitchen has never been hundred percent. And then we get a statement from the CEO saying, "Well, there's." A lot of competition for them areas and positions, and you know, is 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 going to be fighting to get in, and is he really going to be fighting to get in? But might he even been involved on, you know, in squad. He's not even been on bench. So I'll just take that with a pinch of salt. I mean, again, it's more cover-ups, more lies. So potentially Ben Sibic, for me, he's gone to arts. He's got to pass a medical. So why didn't he, why didn't he, why didn't he been featured in Ben? Yet again, things happening behind the scenes, isn't there? We're 27 days in, 28 days in now, to transfer window. And we get we come out with a statement, or a loosely statement on Twitter uh, last night. Oh, we may be interested in a, a loan deal for a striker from abroad. And yet again, we, we're going for cheap option all the time. We need someone to come in and make a difference like now. It's, it's a temporary fix, isn't it? It's a plaster all the time. It's, just, it's a plaster all the time. We, we're having no, you know, any ins or, you know, with plenty of arts, you know, fringe players. And I, and I get it. There's, <clears throat> look, there's probably a fair few more what could go out for me. For me, there could be a fair few more go out. You know, clear some of Deadwood kind of thing, shake, shake it up a bit, because some, some of the players are not good enough. But in the same respect, what, what are you going to be fetching in to make a difference? You know, Freeze has gone, mutual consent. Ben Williams has gone. Now we've got uh, Tony Sibbit going. We're still, we're still no strength in numbers, have we? And people were saying, yeah, get under 20 Freeze ago. The vast majority of players here are dying in confidence. And look, I'm all for getting under 20 Freeze or not. We can't do any worse. But we just evading issue all the time evading issue all the time I, I don't know if they're purposely wanting us to go down or driving us to go down because from our eye look at it it's what we are doing and what a statement that is by Tony Sibic Tony Sibic went out and took it out of his way so that fans us as fans know what he was doing and showed his appreciation and thank you even before the club mentioned to do all damning absolutely damning I wish Tony to be called best at arts. I, think, I believe it's about a three or three and a half year contract is signed. Uh, I do believe he went on he were at arts uh, on loan. Um, so he must know area. And look, good luck to the lad. I hope it works out for him. Uh, 22 year old, still, you know, playing in playing in league. He's going to be game first team football. So yeah, my, if Tony, I don't like that. If you're watching, I'm going to be sharing it and stuff. So if you are watching, I appreciate the time you've been at Barnsley. You tried. But you should, probably should have had a better crack at whip this season for obvious reasons. You know, people saying it was disciplinary issues and that. Who we to know? Who we to know? It could be, it could not be. Because lately now, what's coming out at the club, you just take it with a pinch of salt. It's, you know, you just what's going to happen next. So that, that with Tony Sibic, like I say, has gone to Arts. As yet, we're still waiting to see what we're going to be bringing in, who we're going to be bringing in. I think we all know what's going to be bringing in. Lone players, fringe players, just to 
make up numbers kind of thing. And isn't it ironic that, you know, the sport has always said that they never believe in uh, loan players, loaning players in, is it don't bring value to the club, the developing players for other clubs. And it's ironic that we seem to be going that route now because we're not wanting to invest. We'll sell a player and to free a bit of funds up just to cover the loan fee. No intention, no intention of getting a permanent. No intention. We'll get we'll get shut in. We'll love a wage bill down and get them off at wages. Get a bit of money for Civic undisclosed. So we're never going to find about that. But what bit of money they will get, they'll, fe- they'll f- find some, you know, unknowns in, fetch them in, like a lay on eight grand a week. And then he's here for until end of season, then he'll end up buggering back off to his own club. And they obviously would never do that. We got a DK in under proviso that apparently we had a buyout clause in it, which were, again, sold, sold one, weren't we? False hopes. So I'm not, you know, I'm not holding my breath. I'm going to see if I can do it on Monday. I'll probably try a, a transfer window live. If you keep on watching, appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably do a transfer window live for like last hour or something like that and uh, to have a lap it, see what happens. But like I say, not holding my breath. I'll probably get some unknown players in, but, you know, they're open and they're going to come in and do a job. So, yeah, Tony Sibic, gone to Arts for undisclosed fee. Hope it works out for you, Toby. I uh, really do, mate. Uh, good luck to you. See what happens for us, like that. Us, us Reds fans, innit? So, one thing to say, you Reds. <laughs>